Hi there, my name is Chase Murphy, a consultant here at Proval Tech. Today I want to go over how to set up self-enrollment multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication for new members in PSA. I was working with a partner recently on this and they said they were wasting a lot of time helping the users get their MFA set up. Uh, so I thought I'd make a quick video that might help out some other folks that might be dealing with this problem. Uh, first off, we're already assuming that you've created a new user. Here I've already made an example one. Uh, when you scroll down to the bottom, there's going to be options for the two-factor authentication area. Uh, in this case, we'll be using Google Authenticator. What you do is you need to save the Google Authenticator option without clicking Activate. So do not press the Activate button. Just go up and you can either save and save and close depending on what you're working, working on. Uh, if you hit save there, then what will happen is multi-factor authentication will be turned on for the account and then the user will be able to go in and set it up for themselves after they log in under the My Account area. Um, once they're in that area, all they'll need to do is scroll down to their multi-factor or two-factor two authentication area, click on the button to activate it, and then it'll run them through the process to scan the QR code into whatever app they're leveraging for their multi-factor authentication. This is the quick tip on how to do self-enrollment for MFA in PSA. Uh, we try to make a new video every week. Please like or subscribe if this was useful to you. Thank you.